Hello, I am painting the giraffe today and I will tell you what kind of colors I'm using. Quite a few, 12 total. Uh, I have this lemon yellow. I have some permanent rose, cerulean blue. Uh, I believe this is Prussian blue and this is Hooker's green light. Uh, this is cad red. This is cad yellow. No, nope, I've lied. This is uh, burnt sienna. This is cad yellow, cad red. Uh, come on, Joan, what color is this van? Oh, that's purple. This one is purple down here for the nostrils. This one here is used around the eyes. I think it's called raw umber or something like that. And this one here is black. Doesn't help you much, does it? Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is I usually put the colors in the order that we use them. We're gonna start with a very light color. Then we're gonna put in some pink. I gave you way too much. These here are going to be mixed so that we can put in the pretty colors on his head and down below and everywhere. This here is going to be used on his neck and his nose area. The yellow will be put on his nose. The bright red will be going here. I should have actually flipped them because we do the yellow. Well, we'll figure it out. And then this here is for the nostrils, the purple. This one for around the eyes and of course the eyes themselves and a little bit of white at the end. This is not uh, actually watercolor, it's gouache. And that's almost like a, a poster paint or a, an acrylic. And so uh, let's not, we, we won't deal with the white just yet. We'll deal with it at the end because it kind of changes everything if you get it in the water and it just messes everything up. So leave the white alone for now. Um, what I do to begin with is, first of all, ta-da, this is the picture we'll be doing. Um, it comes out a lot differently when I make a copy of it. A color copy always just makes it look ridiculous. See, and that's just what happens. So you're not, you're not necessarily, you're going for the look of a giraffe, but you're not going for the colors of the giraffe that I have there. Your colors will come out differently, hopefully. They won't look like this. This is a little too crazy, but you can refer to that. And then um, I've given everybody a frame. So basically once you put the frame in there, I've got a smooch there. I'll probably cover that off with a little white and his whole neck won't fit. If you can see, um, if I were to put his whole neck in there, that, see, that's not going to work. So just right at the top there, so you can see that it's not necessarily going to fit. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put my frame away. And the first thing I'd like you to do is get a little bit of water. Take your largest brush and clean it because God knows where that brush has been just because a lot of people use my, my materials. So take a clean brush and just put a couple drops on each color because it should be dried by now or maybe it's still moist, it depends. Um, I set these plates up way in advance with tubes of color. Oops, I didn't need to do the white, but that's okay. Anyway, these are the tubes that I use. I use uh, Cotman watercolors and I get the 21 milliliters. Um, and usually a tube like this costs about $10 per tube. And uh, this giraffe just, I don't know, maybe people are just home for Christmas or something or just didn't have anything to do, but it really took off. And I've got quite a few people and I gotta tell you, I went through probably 12 tubes. <laughs> it's a lot, that's a lot of paint. And I always give you more paint than you need. This might not look like enough, but remember when we're watercolor painting, we're just staining the paper. I don't want you to paint right from the pod. If you were to take it right from the pod, it would be gooey and it, and it won't spread and it will just, we're, we're not painting acrylic, we're doing watercolor. And so that's really important to, to pay attention to when I say pre-wet, pre-wet your paper with clean um, water and whatnot. Okay, well, you can set that aside for now because we're not going to do anything with it right now. 
And what I need you to do is find the picture I gave you of the drawing. Uh, some of you have a darker drawing, some of you have a lighter one. I forgot one little part on it. Uh, I forgot his little eyeball here. Some of you I drew it in and some of you I forgot. So I'm gonna show you, he looks like a zombie. I actually forgot the second line right there. So if you wanna put that in there, there, then he won't look like a zombie. Okay, so if you're a newbie at this, I've given you a pencil. It's either a 4B or a 2B. 4B is a little darker, 2B is lighter. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use, since most of you have a 2B, I will use a 2B. 2B or not 2B. And what you're going to do, you're gonna to have to sharpen it because yours is probably new. We go through a lot of these pencils. And you're going to turn your paper over and wherever the design is, that's where you are going to put down a layer of uh, graphite. The reason we're doing this is because, well, I'm not much of a drawer. And um, what I do is, is this way I can, I don't have to copy the picture. I don't have to look at the picture and worry about any of the dimensions because I'm copying it. So yeah, it's, it's a fun way of cheating, I guess, we're kind of cheating, but we're gonna spend all our time trying to get the paint right. So why should we worry about the drawing? All right, so I put down a pretty heavy layer and every now and again, I pick it up and, and pick it up to the light to make sure that wherever there is the drawing on the other side, that I have some graphite. And yes, sometimes it doesn't come out too well. Yeah, I'm really give it a nice scrub. I'm gonna pick it up and look. Oh, see I missed part of his horn or whatever those things are at the top. I don't know what those things are called, horns or something, ears. And then I get down to the bottom. And it doesn't matter which way you go, back and forth, scribble, scribble, scribble. But I want to make sure that it's completely covered. So for those of you who don't know, I actually have never been trained in art. <laughs> You're probably thinking, well, why? Why am I taking an art class from this woman? Well, I've been doing it for about 25, 30 years. I started at a class at Ben Franklin and I started taking watercolors uh, classes every single weekend. And I would come home with a finished product. We would start at 10 and end at five. It was a long day and I know not everybody has that much time. And it's not like we ever came away with masterpieces. It's just the person who was teaching it was very meticulous. And, and, and I understand that, but I wanted a way to go a little faster. So my classes usually last, this video will be an hour to an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, so whew, done with that, exhausting. And now I'm gonna take my red pen or blue or green or whatever color it is, but it has to be a ballpoint pen. And I included that in my kit because a lot of people don't have ballpoints anymore. They have these flare pens or gel pens and they just, they don't work very well for what we're doing. So I have paper for everybody and the paper I'm using is uh, good stuff. I think it's good anyway. It's called uh, Canson. <laughs> And I use the nine by 12, it's 140 weight and it's called cold press. So let's see if I have any pieces in here that hasn't been drawn on yet. Ta-da, one clean piece. You can get 30 pieces in a pack like this. And sometimes this happens for about $12 from Amazon oh, or Michael's or wherever you wanna get it. <clears throat> All right, there's two sides. There's two sides of this. One side is really smooth and the other side's a little bit rougher. I actually like the rougher side. So 
I'm going to put down the rougher side and then this will go on top of the paper, just like this. And then I've given everybody a little piece of tape. This is art tape. Uh, you can also use wasi tape. Is that what it's called? Waspy, wasi, whatever. And then I put it at the top. You can break it off into two pieces if you don't want it to move. Sometimes I feel like if you put it in the middle, it wiggles because you don't want this to move at all. You want it to stay until I'm done, completely done tracing it. Um, it is important to put in the little details. Um, we are gonna be erasing some of it so that when we do put in the watercolor, maybe these lines won't show up. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and just go and press fairly hard because, and follow it, because you want it to all come out. You can go ahead and put in little, little details like that. And then if you wanna see what I'm doing, I can take a little peek. This is what's happening. Everything that I'm drawing is coming out on the other side. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video and finish doing my tracing. And once I see that it's 100% on there and I lift it up and look and go back and forth, then I know that it's ready to take off. So I'm gonna put you on pause and I'll see you when it's ready. Hi, I'm back. So I'm looking at it and I lift it up and I see that it looks like I have all the lines covered. So now I can take it off. Ta-da! I can reuse this again later if I want to. So I'm just gonna hold it and toss it to the side. All right, so now you should have in your kit, you should have an eraser. It looks like a piece of gray chewed up bubble gum. Okay, now this eraser is not very good, but it's perfect for what we're doing. Um, I go around and I try and make some of the lines a little lighter. If you look at your picture, the one that I've given you, you really can't see any of the lines, maybe a few of them, the ones that I drew in. So that's the, 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 the idea is to make it so that your lines aren't quite so dark. Now you think, well, why did I do it so dark from the first time? Sometimes we need dark lines because of the washes we're doing. So you can roll it like a piece of um, Play-Doh, which is kind of fun, or you can dab it. You can go like uh, this and go dab, 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 dab. So that I can just see the lines because I'm gonna be covering them up and it's important to see the lines, but again, I don't want them sticking out completely. Now, I, I do wanna show you a painting that I did yesterday. This one was the painting that I showed everybody, you know, but then this is from yesterday and I didn't erase the lines. So it's not so bad. Let me zoom in a little bit, but then I used the white at the end to go over things, but you can see the lines here and here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay. And it's not so bad. And it's not the end of the world to be able to see the lines. I mean, I'm not thrilled about it because they're over here by the eyes, you know. But if you don't have the lines, it just looks, I just don't know. It looks a little bit more professional. Um, I wish I had done this color a little lighter in retrospect. And I've given you guys, oh, and this one doesn't have enough white on his eyes, and I like the white here, so that worked out. Uh, I made the eyelashes a little longer over here, so I like that. So there's things I like about this one, and there's things I like about this one. So I sometimes will do a painting four or five times to finally get to the point where it's like I put all of it together. Uh, I love this guy's ears but I like the color, how this one came out better. Uh, the horns, I like the blue at the top and the green. It's okay here, I feel that this brown got kind of gooky. 
So, you know, these are my own critical things that I say. Uh, I like this one because of the green color. And I also like this one because I feel like his nose looks more, I don't know, I just like the shape of it. For some reason, it didn't turn out quite as well. Um, the neck color, nothing much happened here. You know, you could see they turned out to be different colors. I have to tell you this, and I'm going to tell her that I mentioned her. One of my students had a hard time with the eye, so she made an eye patch on it and put a ring here and made it a pirate. That's pretty funny. So, all right, guys, go ahead and toss that to the side. We don't need to use your piece of paper just yet, and I think it's important to keep it clean. All right, so. Uh, I don't think we need our scrubbing brushes today. Sometimes if it's real uh, hard, I give you a little brush that looks like a little scrubbing brush. And that's what I have you do to get these ready. If your paints are somewhat liquidy, you don't need to use it, okay? So, well, you know what? We don't even need, I think we could just get started. I don't see why not. Yeah, go ahead and bring that paper over. I am sorry. You need two pieces, two glasses of water. I usually use uh, like, you know, like a beer mug or something. And then I also, uh, you won't need your pencil anymore. You won't need your pen. You can go ahead and put that back in the, the container. All that's done. Um, Right now, what, what number am I using? There's, you have three or four brushes. You have a big one, you have a little bit smaller one and smaller and smaller. So what number am I gonna use? I prefer to use a four or a six for what I'm doing. Later on, we'll use a smaller one, but this one is a, it's called a four or a six round. Okay, I wouldn't go any bigger really. Um, what we're gonna start with, is we're going to get a little bit of water and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see, it's hard to see in the beginning, is I'm going to put water on the ear. I'm not gonna do the edge because I just wanna get the middle part of the ear. Okay, just a little bit, not much at all. I have my paper towels next to me too. Do not forget your paper towels, you gotta to have those. And then I'm gonna take a teeny, teeny, teeny bit, not very much at all, emphasis on teeny. And I'm gonna go like this because I don't want very much at all. And now I'm gonna take that little amount and put it in the ear area. I think it's better to have it lighter but some people maybe want it a little darker. It's okay if you want your ear to be a little darker, then go ahead. I didn't want this one to be. And now I'm gonna do the other one, get it wet. But of course it might be a little yellow because I still have some stuff on my thing. Take a little bit of the yellow or staining the paper and rubbing it around. Okay, so voila, we've got that done. Now, if you look at your painting, the one that you were given, the, the, the color one, we have yellow on his face and a little bit up here and a little bit here. So we're gonna go ahead and just, we're not doing the nose, but we're just getting some yellow put in around his face, gonna go here and gonna go up here a little bit. And, and we may never see that yellow again but I think it's important to put it down anyway. So I'm gonna put some on the horns, a little bit on the forehead, and then going down the eyeballs. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little yellow, but not on the nose. So we're just putting in a little bit of yellow, la la la, going around, we'll be covering that part up. A little bit on the eyes, not a lot. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, here we go. Putting in the yellow. With watercolor, you put the, the lightest colors in first. Um, with acrylics, you do the darkest color. And I don't paint in acrylics. I have painted one time, but I didn't like it. So why did I give you so much yellow? I don't know. I was preparing tons of plates and I was just, just like, 
you know, putting it on all the plates like that. And I thought, you know what? It's fine. Better to have too much than too little, right? So I am going to get a little bit extra on his forehead here because I want that to stick through. And I might even make it just a little bit darker on his horns or hers. Okay. And don't worry, this will probably be covered. So heck, I could even put a little right here. It doesn't matter. Oh, just a little. Okay. There, got some on his forehead, got a little on his face, a little on around his eyeballs. Good enough. Okay. All right, everybody. Now, we're going to rinse off our brush, clean it off. I kind of wiggle it back and forth in there. And now I'm going to back up here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking a tiny bit of the pink. Why I gave you so much, I'll never know. There you go. Go ahead and move it around, put some more water on it. Aha. All right. Now we're going to go in and put a little bit of pink. Now it's going to come really bright. So if it's too bright, you can rinse off your brush and dry it off and then go over it again. I didn't pre-wet it because I figured it was already wet. You know, if it's still too dark, go in, mop it up. Hey man, it's your picture. If you don't want that inner part to look so crazy, just go in and it's okay to go over the lines. Remember those lines are just suggestions. Okay. So I'm gonna go over here in the same area. It's almost like paint by number, although we don't have any numbers. All right, going in there and I, I kind of want them to match. So I'm looking at them thinking, mm, I don't know about that. They don't look like they match. So I'm gonna go in again. I actually think it should be a little bit darker next to the ear, you know? All right, got that in there. Get my water, clean it off and lift it. Okay. All right. So light enough. Do I like it? Well, we'll see. Ooh, extra there. I'm really going quite a bit lighter than I did last time. See? And you too, if you get some more pa uh, paper, get the 140 uh, cold press. Uh, you don't have to get the super expensive kind. That's arches. Ooh, arches, 300 pound. Now that stuff's professional. All right, I'm dragging it down a little here. And moving this around. One thing with watercolors, you don't want it flat. So flat means it's just a boring one flat color. So I'm going in, moving it around a little bit to make light and dark places. If you make light and dark places, it tends to make it look more watercolory. If that's a word, I don't even think that's a word. Okay, I'm referring to my picture again, and I see that the outside part is nice and pink. So I'm going to take some more of my pink. I don't need to pre-wet it, and I'm going to go ahead and do my edges in pink. It won't stay that way, believe me. We're going to paint over it, but for now, we're going to use that, and then I'm going to do one little tiny line at the bottom. And this won't stay either. Just a little tiny line. Oops. Okay. So here I am putting it in on the other side. Sometimes I turn my painting upside down because I'm right-handed and it's so much easier to get a hold of something. If you're left-handed, you'll probably find you do the same thing. So just because it doesn't matter which way you put it. So yes, you can go upside down if you need to. Okay, da, 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 da. we've put that in. We're cruising now. All right, when I look at this picture, I notice that there's a little bit of pink uh, right here and there's some pink up here in the, a little bit next to the nose and then up here in the horns. So I'm gonna put a little bit of wet on here, a little bit of wet. And then I'm going to take my pink and put in some pinky pink pink. 
And sometimes we put color in on the bottom and we never see it again, but that's okay. It'll turn a little bit of orange, which will look pretty. Because, you know, yellow and red, yellow and pink make orange. So there it is, I'm putting it in. Boop, 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 boop. Just a little bit. And now, again, and I've got a little bit on his nose because I think it's all about getting different colors in. And you guys have 12 colors. So this will look good. Might even put a little in over here. Why not? Okay, so next color. What are we gonna do? Hmm, well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the blue, this, this, this blue here, and we're gonna put it down here. I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue and mix it around. Okay, so it's not super, super dark. And then I might even go over here. I'm gonna bring it all over. Bring some of the green. Ooh, clean off my brush, pick up some of that blue with that other blue. And I'm making um, kind of a concoction here. I'm trying to make a pretty color with those. And I'm, I'm almost, it's almost like I'm making a, an emerald color. So I'm taking the blue, putting it over here. And I don't have to just stick with this one emerald color. What I can do is I can then make another emerald color. I can take the green, so we never just use the plain green and bring it down. Because remember, I don't want to paint from the pod because then I would ruin this green and then I wouldn't be able to make any more colors. So I'm going to go in here and take a little bit of this blue and see what color I come up with. Hmm, a little bit more of this color. Aha! Ooh, that's kind of a pretty color. So it's not emerald, emerald like this one. That's the Emerald City right there. But I'm going to get a little bit more blue and see if I, ooh, I've got a little bit darker emerald. So I like that. All right, good. So I'm going to take a little bit of this here. I like that too. So really what I have now is I have like one, two, three, four, I could use all five colors, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, for this next part, I'm gonna use a slightly bigger brush. I'm using the six or the eight. So I went from using the four, and of course it's super dirty because I forgot to clean it off. Clean it around in there and clean it off on my, Paper towel, make sure not to drip on your guy here. A little girl took this class yesterday. She was only five. And she, at the end, we decided what we were gonna name our characters and she decided on heart sparkles, which I thought was really sweet. Okay, so now what are we gonna do? How, what are, what is the game plan? Okay. The game plan is I'm gonna get this wet at the top just a little bit so I can get the green in there and the blues just on these little corny things. Um, then I'm gonna get it wet here, just right here on his forehead. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this part in and I'm gonna pay particular attention to the corners. And I'm gonna put a little bit extra in so it looks like it's dipping. The darker it is, it dips, it'll look good. And then I'm not gonna pre-wet this, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some blue here and do a very light blue here at the bottom. And then when it's super, super, super light, I'm gonna put in a little bit, just some little, little scrubby scrubs in here. And then with a very small brush, I'll put in the fuzzies, okay? So this is the game plan right here. We're gonna do horns, pre-wet, little bit, then we're gonna pre-wet here, little extra here, and I'll show you how we can push it back and tame it. Then we're gonna go here, and then even we can even go on this eyeball a little bit. I like the fact that they're different. That gives this a lot of personality. You know, if you think that he needs the same eyeballs and go for it, or she, um, depending on the end, how you feel, what the gender is, or gender neutral. Okay, dog does this every time. Whenever I'm painting, she, he, excuse me, stands at the door and whines. Go, 
and then barks. So I will eventually put you on pause so that I can have, go have a word with Bo. Bo, you know I'm painting. That's so annoying. Now, I put a little bit too much water on here, and you can tell when there's too much because it just goes nutty. So I'm going to zoom in for you to see what too much water looks like. And all you do is soak it up. No big whoop. I put too much. Because then I just don't have any like real definition when I try and put that in. It's just like, bleh. I might even make these a little taller. But I do like these. Okay. So I've got that in there. And now I'm going to put a little bit of green in there too. Just a little bit. And it's okay if they mix. I think that looks nifty. So I'm going to put you on pause while I go and talk to my dog. And I'll be right back. Oh, would you let the dog out, Don? Sure. I was going to put the thing on pause. And I was telling everybody about Bo. Whenever I'm in a Zoom call, he has this thing. Like, mom will never let me out for as long as I live. So, yeah. He's 11 months old. And he's already trained us very well. <laughs> Hasn't he? I put in extra little tops. Okay. So, I put a little bit of green in there, too. Which one do I want to have green? I don't know. This one, maybe? Maybe that one? There, I got two of them. Why not? Your horns can look whatever color you want them to be. Okay, except for we don't have any happy little trees around here, do we? All right, so now I'm going to go down and get this part wet. It'll be a little bit colored. That's okay. Because... Mm -hmm. I'm not going down to his face yet. I'm just doing this part right here. If you look at your picture, I'm getting the little pockets, the little triangle pockets, and I'm going a little bit up on his horns. Horns, horns, horns. Going up on the horns, doing the forehead, got the eyeball, move it around. Good enough. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. So what color am I going to start with? I'm going to start with a little bit of the light blue mixed with that dark blue. And I'm going to go in there and just go like this and see what happens. Ooh, that's pretty. Man, that's pretty. Gosh, I'm loving that color. Mm. Okay, I might even go up on the side here a little bit. There we go. Throwing in some color, guys. Throwing in some color. All right. Now, I'm going to take some of my amazing... Hmm, it doesn't look that amazing anymore, so I might have to put a little more green in it. Okay, I'm going to do the dippy dip. There's the dippy dip. Careful, because you don't want to get it all over the place. I'm going to go down there. Now, what if I get too low and I don't like it and I want it lighter? Take your, take your dry, clean brush, damp, and push it back. See, you can just go back, you beast. All right, now I'm sounding weird. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm taking it and I'm going up. Hey, I got a little crazy here. This horn got fat. Oh, well, what do you do? Putting a little green in there. I'm gonna have to make this horn bigger because I got, I got a little crazy on it. Oh, there you go. See, that's the thing is, nobody really, it's kind of like, well, you know, it's my horn. I'm gonna make my, this one's gonna be thicker. Maybe I'll make the other one thicker too, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I look like a weird unicorn or something, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, if you don't like the color, wipe it up. And go ahead and do some more adding. Now, I went in and got that really dark green emerald right here. And now I'm going to push it into the corner. So it's nice and wet. And now I take my brush, clean it off, and push it on in there. Push, 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 push. Okay? And then because I want that part to be lighter, Go ahead and do that. 
So, and you know what? We've got lots of time to add more color. So don't worry about it like, oh, it doesn't look good. No, 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 no. We have got so much time. And then I put the darker blue on the other side, that sort of Prussian fallow blue. I don't even know what color it is. I should be able to tell you what color you're using. Uh-oh, I hear the garbage man, the garbage can's out. Deedle, deedle. Does that happen to your, your house every, every, every Wednesday? We all run outside like it's the first time in the world that the garbage men are here. All right, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna get these little little goopers in here. I'm gonna go down, boop, boop, boop. And then I got the eyeball. Okay, careful around the eyeball. And this is too dark. It looks like he's been beat up. So what do I do, guys? I go in there, dry off my brush, and do a little recognizant work. Deedle, deedle, because it's too dark. Push it back, push it back. Sounds like we're working out. OK, and that will look awesome. I can also drop little bits of water on it too, move it around. If it's too dry, you can always drop little bits of clean water on it, see what happens. Truly, it truly does amaze me that everyone's painting will come out different, everyone's. And every time I do it, it's different too. It's like, how is this possible? Now, when I get my, um, my colors that I'm gonna use, sometimes I dip in one little area, sometimes I dip in another. So I am, I'm just going all over the place. I went into my emerald. I'm not real thrilled with my emerald color. So when I use it, move it around a little bit, and then I'm gonna dip into my green, my darker green, maybe my blues. So I really am just kind of getting this part darker. Mm -hmm. Getting this part darker. And wiping it off, pushing it up. All right, so I, I've got a lot of different colors going on here. It's quite pretty. Um, what other color do I want? Gosh, I love that dark, dark blue. It's just so pretty. So I might even add a little bit of the dark, dark blue up top. So go ahead and go up to the dark, dark blue. Holy smokes, I went a little crazy, but that's okay. I do that sometimes. I want it to be somewhat uniform, but not completely. So this is way too dark and way too much. So I'm just taking it off. And there you go. I'm not watching this video afterwards because I'm going to be embarrassed to tell you that right now. Tell you about that. Oh, I didn't put a little darker up top here. <laughs> My green isn't very pretty. So because of that, I'm going to put in some more blue because eventually I'm gonna be putting darker up here and I just think it'll look prettier if I've got the dark sticking through, you know? Clean it off, bring it down, clean it off, bring it down. Okay, so let's look at his forehead. Do you think he has enough color on his forehead? Hmm. I have a squiggly on here. I don't know what that is. I have something, it, it looks like a piece of, well, I'm gonna have to leave it, but sometimes you get fuzzies. And this looks like a piece of, I don't know, leave it. Okay, a uh, little bit of the dark here, move it around. All right, and I'm gonna even put little drops of water on his forehead to make it look like something cool is happening. Water's your friend. Do I like it? Eh, it's good enough. So now I'm gonna take a, a very light blue and I'm going to take my brush and oh. go ahead and put some blue on there. So the blue is on the outside. 
I'm still using my number four brush or six because it has a nice tip. So I'm, I'm, all, I'm taking a little bit on the outside and then I'm gently just barely touching the paper to get that bit in. You can even have a little dotted line there. Okay, I have to turn mine upside down. If it gets too dark or you have a thick area, don't worry. We have white paint at the end to lighten that area up. So you do not have to worry. We, we, we have something to rescue, to rescue the day. Okay. All right. So I like what's happening here. I do, I do, even though I've got that weird fuzzy there, but I'm going to leave it. Um, now what do I want to do? Mm, drop a little water in there. Yeah, move things around. Boop. Okay. Sometimes if I don't like an area, if it looks too boring, I just put a little water on there and move it around. Okay, what now, Joan? Get on with it. Okay, so that is that part. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a very light uh, wash here. We're gonna go ahead you can see where it comes down nice and light here. We don't actually get the nose. And we are gonna put in a very, very light greenish color on his face. So what do we have to do for that? Well, I have to go in and I have to get it wet. So not very much. Get in there. Get in there, wherever that yellow was, we're going in with that. Now I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that green that, that I made, that turquoise green, and going in there and painting his face. It's okay if you go up and through the thing. Um, I might stop about here before I get to his dark circles under his eyes because I'm going to use a different color there. Okay. I'm going to paint a little bit over that. I'll just make it brown. All right. So I can still see my little, um, what are those things called? My spots. So I am, I'm making sure that it's still light enough that I can see. So I'm going over it again and I can see my spots. If you can't see your spots, it's not the end of the world. I'm just washing it, giving him a little wash on his face, and then I'm leaving it. Okay, there, good enough. Now, we're gonna get this in right now. I'm gonna go down to this funky brown color and barely use any of it. If I had given you a dot as much as you needed, you would have thought that I was completely cheap. So I'm gonna take that light, 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 and I'm going to put in the dark circle under his eyes, okay? So here I go, putting in a very, very light area. Mine is mixing a little bit with the green, but that's all right again we can kind of pick it up a little bit and if you go on under his eyes that's okay too that's all right because we're going to color that we're going to color it so if you get that area do not worry i might even get above it i am i'm going to go above i'm going to do his it's almost like i'm putting on his mascara i'm not not mascara his eyeliner so I got it on the top. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want it to look angry. Mm, it looks like it's thinking. All right. So I got it on the top and I've got it on the bottom. Good. So I can at this point dry it up. That would be the best thing to do so that then we can work a little bit more on the eye. Um, or even do the nose or whatever. You know what else? Instead of drying it, how about, how about, how about we go down below and do the 
area around the dots, around the spots. So I'm putting water in and not too much, just so it glistens a little bit. You can go all the way down, it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to take this color right here and I can put it right there, might as well. You can put it wherever you need to, but see how that, and then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black just to darken it. So it's just a little bit of, oh, I added too much. So then you just get a little bit more from your little pile here. Uh, the fourth one up, go in there and ah, that's the color I wanted. So this color is darker and I'm gonna make sure that goes right under the neck. Okay, so that is the, I guess it's the shadow. And then I clean it off and get a little bit more of that stuff and make it a little lighter. I can even put some of this goopy one in there, the one that I use for the eyeballs. There's no reason why I can't use that color too. And then I'm gonna go in and put this color in. It's a slightly different color. It's not as dark as the stuff that I put under the neck, but I might have to go back in because it doesn't look dark enough. I want it to actually look like there is a shadow. So I gotta go in and fix it. No big whoop. Yeah, Joan, you gotta go back in because I can't see it at all. I don't know about you, but I can't see it. Ah. Okay, so what do I do? I gotta get a little bit of black, put it back in there and then dab, dab, dab. Oh, I had to make the neck a little thicker, but that's okay. His neck seems really thin for his big head. Maybe that's why he looks so goofy. He really is goofy looking. I mean, how, who would paint a giraffe these colors? But that's what makes him look so cool. You know, it's like, oh, it's sort of, um, I don't know. Whoops, I don't want it right there. What was I doing? Okay, so I'm pushing this away. Push it away. Go back in there and fix this area. Good, looks good to me. All right, guys, we should go ahead. I'm gonna put this on pause. Put your blow dryer on low. Uh, make sure things don't go flying. Normally I put this on the ground and I put it on low. And once it looks like it's set, then I can put it higher up. I can put the blow dryer up higher and put it on high. So I'm putting you guys on pause. I'm back. Okay, uh, at this point, my water's pretty disgusting. Uh, so I am actually going to put you on pause and go get clean water and maybe even some more paper towels. So I will be right back and yeah, hang in there. All right, I'm back. Hello, love. <laughs> clean water. And I also have clean paper towels, which makes me feel amazing. All right, so I think what we're gonna do now, uh, we are gonna go ahead and do the this beautiful color right here. And then we can do a little bit of brown up here on his little horseshoe part on his nose. So we're gonna get this part done and let it dry. And while that's drying, we're gonna go ahead with the emerald color and put those in these little spots. You can add more spots if you want. Uh, once this is dry, we can start doing these spots. And uh, yeah, we'll probably do a little nosebleed thing if you want. It just looks good when you've got all sorts of different colors. So trust the process. I know, I know it's hard. Because right now, what the heck is going on, McGinnis? All right, so what do we do first? Well, uh, since this is dry, 100% dry, I'm gonna look and I'm gonna go ahead and get this part wet. I'm gonna go up to the little part that looks like an M and you can kind of see what I'm doing because my water's just a little, actually my water's not dirty, my, uh, my brush is dirty, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. I'm getting this part right up to here, 
but not his nostril. And then I'm going on this side and getting it wet just a little bit, okay? All right, now what color is that? Well, it is my burnt sienna. I'll take a little bit of that and put it right here. Get a little bit of water, move it around. Yeah, it's just that color. And we'll see how it turns out. Sort of a light reddish brown, very pretty. And it'll look good against his neck. It'll be a different color. Now again, with this one, you don't want it to be flat. So once we get the color in, we can start adding more layers. I don't know why his nostrils look so funny, but that's just how it is. I found this picture on the internet and I didn't like how uh, washed out it was. So I went ahead and repainted it and did my own flair. So that's what I do is I steal pictures from the internet. I hope that's okay. I don't even know who did it. That's why I feel bad. Gosh, I hope I don't get some letter in the mail. You stole my idea. Okay. So what did I do? Uh, yeah, I put that in there and now I can move things around a little. I like the top part to look a little lighter because then, believe it or not, it gives it the illusion by making this part here and this part here and this part here, it gives it the illusion of his, his, his lips sticking out. You know, like women will put a little, sh a little shimmer part on the top part of their lip because then that gives the illusion of it being, I don't know, higher than the rest, I guess. Okay, so what are we gonna do about the nostril part? Well, we have to get the darker color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and mix it in there, depending on how dark you want that part. So I'm not pre-wetting it. I'm just going in there and putting in his nostrils, okay? All right, there's one and I will zoom in so you can see. And I don't know if you can see that okay. Well, I just feel like it's not very good, but okay. And then I'm gonna zoom in and I think I got this part right. I feel like it's right. Well, I ended up putting it down below. I know there's blue there, but I ended up putting mine down below, but oh well. So he has a, moon shape on this side, goes down kind of lower, I noticed. And then on this side, he's got, he comes down kind of thin. I'll just go like that and see how it goes. Good enough. Okay. Oh, starting to little, do a little, that's okay though. If, I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if you can see it starting to spread a little, but I'm, I'm not real concerned about it. Well, if I am concerned about it, because I did wet on wet, I can go in and just pick it up. Pick it up, get back there, back. And then go back in and put a little bit of my red, my burnt sienna to fix the little area, okay? So now what, Joan? Well, I'm gonna drop a couple little drops of water on here and move it around because it started to look boring and I don't want it to be boring. And now I think I need a little bit of blue here by his nose, but I'm worried because it's super wet. Hmm. I don't want to touch it. I just, I just don't want to touch it yet, guys. I could put you on pause. I think I want to go up higher here. I could put you on pause and dry it up. You know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blow dry it. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I can't pant when it's wet. Putting you on pause. I'm back. Okay, so now what am I gonna do? Well, I wanna put a little bit of blue here and then do the purple. So I am gonna get it wet just a little bit right around here and right around here. And I'm gonna take some of my light blue. Let's see if that looks good. It doesn't look bad. All right, just even if the blue gets into the purple area, it's no big deal. So go in there. 
put a little blue. Now I want it to look like it was naturally put in there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker blue and put it in there. Whoa, now it looks like he has a blue nosebleed, but that's okay. Go in there, dab, dab, dab. Oh, there is a video on YouTube of a dad putting, doing a talk, uh, a talk over on how to put on makeup. And it's so funny, the dab, dab, dab reminded me of that. Cause he's like, yeah, and then you take this really expensive stuff and dab, 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 dab. And it's, I don't know, you should look it up. It's, I'm sure it went viral, so funny. Dad commenting on daughter putting on makeup. Ooh. But I don't have girls, so I don't know. Okay, I'm making it a little lighter because I don't really like how dark it turned out. So it's up to you how you want to go about doing this. And if you want it to look like it's melding in there, just rub, rub the orange part with the blue part and then add a tiny bit of water and a little bit more orange and voila, it looks natural, see? So what I did is I went in there and I just kind of rub, rub, rub it like that. And then it looks like, wow, I'm a painter. I know what I'm doing. No, I don't. Okay. Ooh, I like that. I like it a lot. Okay. Then I've got a sharp edge here and I don't like the sharp edge. So I'm going to go in and tap it with water just a little bit of water. And now get some of my orange again and fix it. Fix it. There, see? So what I've done is I've made the blue part look like it's sort of part of the orange and it doesn't have a sharp edge. I didn't want it to have a sharp edge. I want it to look natural. Like that's just the way it just happened to happen. And I didn't force anything, even though I did. I totally forced it. Okay, time for the purple. Ah! My purple's very thick. So I don't have any room, much room left anywhere. So I am gonna use it right from there, but I'm gonna go off to the side and not get a goober. No goobers, guys. And I'm gonna tap it in there very gently. If I go a little bit over, that's okay. And there's the blue. I'm gonna bring it down to the blue and look. Oh, it's quite, it's quite long. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. He has quite the big nostril. Ooh, so I can smell you with. All right, a referral to Little Red Riding Hood. Giraffe, giraffe, why are your nostrils so big? because Joan made them really big. And I'm taking away the inside of the nose to make it look like it's cavernous. So it's almost like I'm, I'm doing a drill with water. I'm taking it and gently lifting away the nostril area. And then I go back in and put the darker stuff on the outside. So that in the end, the dark part is on the outside and the light part is on the inside to the nostril. Ta-da! All right, doing the next one, going in there. This one seems a little bigger. It seems a little crazier. All right. And I'm dab, dab, dabbing. Looking at the picture for reference. It does not have to be symmetrical. Nostrils are not twins, they are sisters. That's what I heard. Anyway, they don't have to look exactly the same. Taking some up, putting some more in. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the nostrils and I think the more 
variation you have to the nostrils. Oops, I've got a blob, see? Very important not to have blobs. Blobs are not good. That's the technical term, blob. Ah, all right. Ta-da, ta-da-da-da. Do you know I haven't even showered this morning? I should probably go and take a shower. But you guys don't focus on that, on my beauty. You are focusing on nostrils today. Pick it up, pick it up. Awesome. Okay, I'm done with his nostrils. If you wanna work on it some more, you can. Now, I am going to do these guys right here. Oops, you can't even see. I'm gonna work on these neck pieces, okay? Um, hmm, I might as well keep with my four or my six. I am gonna pre-wet them a little bit. And now what color am I gonna do them? Well, I'm looking at my board and I think I want this aqua color. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue though because I felt like it was looking a little sad. So I go in there, dab it in, and then push it to the edge. Okay. If you want your dots to have a little bit different variation, just a little bit, you can add a tiny bit of maybe the darker blue or the green so that they end up looking like they've got dual dual colors, dual citizenship. Okay, so there we go. I'm trying to be careful. And you know what? Mine went a little bit into the brown, so that's okay. I'm just gonna use a little bit darker blue. And I'm gonna rinse off my brush and move it around. Get some more of my wonderful aqua color. Well, you can put whatever your color you want there if you want purple. I mean, my God, you've got enough of it. But then it would look weird because of the nostrils. So I, I would not do purple ones. Okay, now, once we have that on, I'm gonna actually dry off my brush, clean off my brush and dry it off a little bit and remove some of it, just a little bit. I'm gonna go in there and put some water on it and then dab it up because I want the center to look slightly different. I don't want the dots to be all uniform. So by doing that, I'll show you what it ends up looking like. And then when it dries, it will have a more, um, I don't know, just interest. It'll be very interesting when it dries. So I can put a little drop of water on there and see what happens, a little drop of water, and then let it go. Okay, that's, that's the fun part about watercolor. Now I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush right now. I'm switching to my two or my one, clean it off. Oof, I must have used this as an eyeliner last time. I know I did because it's filled with black. So please clean yours off because I know I had another class. Holy smokes, I can't get this clean. All right, so eh, clean enough. Now I'm gonna go in and because these are little, I am actually not going to pre-wet them. Just make sure they're not just pouring dots. Make sure that when you put your dots in, even if you can't see where they were supposed to be, just make them look like they are, they've got some uh, kind of ragged edges. And they're all about, oh, not too big. Cause he's got little ones on his face. I wonder if giraffes can tell one another apart because of their speckles or is it because of the sound they make? I'm gonna have to look that up. Thank goodness for Google. I remember the Britannica, Encyclopedia Britannica, the big old silly green books, whatever they were read. Look stuff up. Man, it took forever. 
now it's like, hmm, I wonder what the population of Idaho is. And then you've got it. It's just crazy. And it's up to date. What's the weather in Yugoslavia? I mean, you know, come on. Okay. So I did an, a different size, a different number on each side. And now I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to lift some of it because I want it to have a little bit different. Each one is going to have not boring dark, but the inside is lifted. They're very little, so it is a little, it's harder to get the, the color lifted. But just like freckles, no two freckles are alike, or they, they do have different, you know, looks about them. So I guess if this was a melanoma, you'd have to have it removed. Oops. Kind of dark. Uh-oh, I got a little bit of purple in this one. What happened there? Oh, well, apparently he's got a purple one. I don't even know where that purple came from. Well, guess what? I'm going to have to put it on back on top. Okay, if you don't like the way it looks, you think that you've removed too much color, put some color back. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Well, I think it's important now to put in the, the red. You've got some red going here. Uh, I might have to fix this again because I don't feel like I have enough color. So if you're in an area where you think it looks yucky, fix it. Um, you'll notice that when we do this part of the red, it's darker and I let it dry and then I do this part of the red. But first I put the yellow down. So how about before we do anything, we put the bright yellow right here. So I'm gonna use my medium brush again, which is number six or four. I'm going to only pre-wet this area here, but not the other side of the nose. I am also not doing the M, the part. I'm only getting oops, this part wet, and I'm not getting this part wet. So here we go. I'm even going to get up here near his eye wet and on his forehead a little bit wet. Why? Because you'll see getting the yellow the bright yellow. Okay. All right, going up. And then I got this wet, so I'm gonna put a little bit on his forehead. Just a little bit, move that around a little bit because it'll look interesting, a little bit. Okay, all right. So what am I gonna do? Well, I gotta get my red ready because I want the reds to mix together. I'm not doing this part right here though. So I'm taking my red, even though it's not a very thrilling red and I don't have anywhere to put it. Hmm. Where am I gonna put it? Well, if you want, you can clean off a little bit of an area. I notice that I don't have much going on on this one. So I'm taking a piece of paper towel and cleaning this off. So that I don't have to, uh, can't even, okay, there we go. I'm cleaning off a little area and then I'm taking my red and putting it in there. It's not very red. I don't really like it. Ugh. I'm gonna add a little pink. I'm gonna add some pink to my red, guys. I want it to pop a little more, okay? I'm just saying. All right, so what am I gonna do? This is still wet. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna go down and sort of make it look like he's got a bridge on his nose. And then I'm gonna go a little bit down here on his eye. I like that part. And then I'm going to go some more right around here. So what's going on here? Well, I'm going to take it and push it back. Push it back. I might even get this wet too. I like that as much. 
I'm not real thrilled with this part, but that's okay. All right, pushing it back. So then I have, I have it going all the way down, push it back and now take some more yellow and then put the yellow on there again. Ooh. Uh oh, I don't want it all. So I'm gonna take some clean yellow, go down pretty thick and I'm gonna push it up. Ah, got some in there, but that's okay. Push it up and you'll notice the red will start attacking the yellow. Oops, got a little crazy down at the bottom, but that's okay. Push it, ah! It's important to scream, of course, when something happens while you're recording. Because you know I don't edit these. I just, it's just one and go, just go. Figure it out. Okay, so this is starting to meld in here. I'm gonna zoom in to show you, and I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy about this, I really am. I am glad that it is, I'm adding a little bit more pink. I like the fact that it's, it's moving. So I am gonna be very, just a thin, thin bit going down. And I, and I like the fact that it's going across. I might even pick it up and go, come on, go across a little bit. Okay, so what should we do at the top? I'm gonna to take my red and I'm gonna put in a little bit of the red at the top because the pink is just not doing it for me. So putting in the red and now I'm cleaning off my brush and I'm taking a little bit of that orange. I'm gonna take a little bit of orange in the brown and I'm gonna put a little bit at the top again. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little in and it kind of makes it look like the red is underneath it, which is good. But what I particularly like is the fact that my blue looks like it's in back. So it almost looks like it's a tube, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna put in some of that color. Uh, do I like it? It's all right. It's not the best of the best of the best. Maybe I'll even put in a little bit of blue. Ooh, I don't know. If it's too dark, it'll take away from everything. So I, I have to be careful not to make it too dark. Ah, I went over my line. Darn it all. Okay, here we go. Pick it up, Joan. It's looking weird. Pick it up. There's still time to save it. Come on, save it. There is still time. Okay, good enough. Oof. What's going on over here? So you may like yours or you may not. So you gotta do a little play around. So guess what I did? I went in there and monkey with it. Was it good what I did? Maybe not, but that's all right. I'm gonna fix it with my white later. That's what I do with everything, you know? Okay, back up here. I am now gonna take, I'm not gonna pre-wet it. I'm gonna take my red, a little bit more pink, and now I'm gonna put in this line right here. Because it's dry enough. Now you can't put it in if it's not dry enough. But I am putting this in because I can see that it's dry enough. And that way I know that it won't just become a big blob because I want the side of the nose to look like it's got some character. And I don't want it super straight either. Putting it in, digging it in there like that. And I even see a little bit coming down the eyes. Not much, but I am putting some in there. Okay, all right, now what? Well, I can do the nose. I can make the nose pink if I want, or red. I am not pre-wetting it, but I'm only doing this because I know that the yellow is dry. If the yellow's not dry, you're gonna have to use your paper towel and dab it and start all over again on that section. 
So word to the wise there. If the yellow is wet, do not proceed. All right, we've got the little nostrils, the little part that comes down. I used pink. You can use red. Ah. All right. So now what? Wow. I'll tell you what's going to happen now. It's going to do the eyeballs. Oh, you can also take your detail brush and do, since this is dry, you can do little dots. I think that way it looks like he's got whiskers or she. I'm just doing some on one side and then doing some on the other because it's dry. Some are small, some are big. And I'm, I'll show you, I'll zoom in so you can see, see? And that's pretty, I think. All right, it's time for the eyes. So you get your detail brush and we're gonna be using the black and you wanna make sure that the black has some water in it. Not too much, but we can't have it super thick either. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so how do we go about doing this? Well, we have to put in the eyeliner. So I'm very carefully with the tippy tip putting on the eyeliner, going on one side, going on the other. Okay. I'm going to use the darker one later. I'm going to go in and do the eyeball, get it black, put it in there. Do not worry about that little white space yet. You can put that in with the, if we have the white paint, or if you're lucky enough, you have the pen, and you can use the pen. Oops, my eyeball's getting a little bigger, but that's okay. All right, it kind of bug out a little bit, a little bit of bugging going on. All right, now when I do the eyelash, I just go right out from the eyeball. There's really no difference. You can make them longer, shorter, however you want them. Okay, I'm going to the other side now. And I am going in with the eyeliner. Well, my eyeliner got a little thick on this side, so I have to make it thicker on the other side. Okay. Eyelashes. Whoosh. Yeah, beautiful eyelashes. Might have done too many, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. Nice and dark, nice and dark. Okay, so I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna zoom in here for you to see. I'm gonna take my dark brown, my darker brown and put in the, um, the area below the eye. I don't know if you can see it. It's this area right here. So I'm making that part there. And then I'm even doing, it's almost like an eyelid. It's like a brown eyelid. There. So I've got the brown eyelid there. This part kind of bugs out a little bit almost. Turn it around. It's, it's almost like eyeshadow. That's what it is. It's little smoky eye look. That's what they call it. Sephora would be happy with our efforts. All right, with this dark color, I am also going to um, put it down below, like I said, the smoky look. So I'm going to just do a very, very light darker area down below. Not that it's peeping up all night, keeping the, the lizard beast away, but I'm gonna make it a little bit darker underneath. Barking. 
and oh, yeah, they're dirty. Okay, now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my dark brown and I'm gonna put in the little worry lines or little eyebrows, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the picture because I can't really see mine anymore. So there's one. And then I'm gonna go over here and get my little lines in. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to make this darker. Oh well. So just so you can see it a little better, I am gonna put a line on it. There we go. There we go. See, it was working. And I'm making this a little bit of a point. Point right there at the tip. Oh, I've put in a couple layers. We've got some fancy eyes going on here. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. I can't even do my own makeup. I like it. Mm. All right. So, what am I going to do now besides look at it and go, oh, I am going to take my white. Okay. I'm going to rinse off my brush and I'm going to take a little bit of my white, this one right here, mix it around. You'll notice it's thicker. It is not watercolor. So when you put it on your paper, it is going to lighten things up a little bit. So here I go. I'm going to go ahead and put it in on my ears and then I'm going to put in the little pieces. Uh, you can use blue if you want. The first time I, I forgot to put the little blue pieces in. That's what I forgot to do. Oops, I'm going to have to go back and get them in there. Oh, well. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going on the inside of the ear with my white, and it will actually pick up the color. It won't stay white. And then I'm going to put my little uh, ear things in, little ear, like, like what men get, you know, the fuzzy ears. There we go, put the little fuzzies in there. So fuzzies, not a lot. I like it, I like it. But I do like a little bit of blue in there too. I'm gonna rinse off my brush, get a tiny bit of blue and put some in just like this and then go in there and smooth it out. So it doesn't really look like I forgot to put it in there. Oh, no one will ever know, except for you. Now I'm gonna go in there and put a little bit of blue right here. I don't know why that's there. I guess it's like a shadow or something. And then I might even put it down below. I am, I'm gonna put it down below. It'll look cool. And now I'm going to add in some little blue streaks for the ears, for the ear hair. Tiny, tiny blue streaks to come in there and get fuzzy. Uh -huh. And now I'm going to get my, my white and go in there and do some more, ah, some more streaks to make the blue not look quite so blue. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Taking the white with my little tiny brush, I took off some of it on the uh, paper towel just so it's not so much. And now I'm going in and I'm putting my blue, my blue streaks. Excuse me, they're not blue, they're white. What am I talking about? All right. So where else do I want this white, this amazing white? I'll tell you where I want it. I'm gonna put some near the eye just to see what happens if I put some near the eye. You don't have to do this. I just wanna see what would happen. Hmm, I don't know if I like it. So if I don't like it, well, guess what? I can add a little bit of color to get rid of it. Ooh, make sort of a pastel-y color. Ooh, I like that. Yes, Bob, I like it. I don't know what I just did, 
you don't have to do it. Oops, but I had, I, I wasn't really liking this color, so I wanted to change it, so I did. Now over here, I'm not thrilled with, if you don't like a certain place, you can go in and cover it up. So it's almost like when you have a zit, and you cover up your zit. So see, I've covered up the zit. And now I'm gonna go in, and put a better cover in there. Mm, this is pretty good cover up. Okay, so what color do I want there? Well, I don't know what color I want. Maybe I'll just see what happens if I take my brush. Hoping yours turned out because mine didn't. Whoop. Well, hmm. It almost looks pink now. I can handle that. I just didn't like the boring color it was before. So what am I gonna do to fix it? I'm gonna take some real pink and cover it up with pink. Oh, this stuff is amazing, you guys. So I fixed it. Now I'll tell you where else I need to fix it. That looks good, much better. Yeah. All right, another place I wasn't real pleased with what happened is up here, I got some splatters. So I'm gonna take the white, cover up the little splatters and cover up a little bit on the horns because they got a little a little crazy, a little cray cray. It doesn't do the best job, but I wonder how many layers it would take. Hmm, that works. I wonder if I put white dots on his face, what would happen? I'm putting a few white dots just for the fun of it. I wonder if they have whiskers. All right, you guys, I'm out of control. We got to stop this video. It's been really fun. I hope you learned something. Oh, sorry. We did not put in the dots, the eye dots. So I'm going to take my white and just put in a couple little dots to make it look shiny. So I did one little line and two little dots. And that makes it look, for some reason, it gives it that shiny look. Okay, guys, this is it. I'm going to upload this to YouTube and become famous. And you can say you knew me when. All right. Goodbye.